folks, welcome back to Cray Outdoors. Today we are finally getting our kayak out here in Mobile, Alabama. New home, new place, new life, and uh, this is my first time getting the kayak out here. I've got this nice paddler launch just three minutes down the road from my house. I timed it. We're three minutes away. I'm once again very lucky, very blessed to uh, live where I live. Um, supposedly this area is pretty darn good fishing. There's three or four kayak launches within 10 minutes of my house. This launch, I like it because uh, it's kind of kind of low-key. It's at, at the end of like a, a dead-end road in a nice little quiet neighborhood. You can see nobody else is here. It's a gorgeous Sunday. I mean, that might mean that it's terrible fishing, but maybe it just means that this is a low-key spot that people don't know about. Um, I'm just sort of lucky that I found it because uh, I live here. <laughs> uh, I would have never known to launch my kayak here if, if I didn't live here you know I, I wouldn't wouldn't have known that this cool little launch here exists so we're gonna get out on uh, on the river here and see what we can catch one thing about the mobile area is uh the water here isn't the cleanest you can see it's pretty brown and gross looking um there are some pollution issues but um you know, as long as the fishing's good, it's not something that necessarily bothers me much. It smells like straight up sewage, <laughs> but it's time to get on the water and see what we can catch out here. Ah, new town, new place, new fishery, see if we can figure it out. Closest thing I've fished to here is probably going to be like the, the Loxahatchee River and the St. Lucie River in Florida. Um, those were both brackish estuaries like this. Um, it's my understanding that here in Mobile Bay and the Dog River it can really just sort of vary depending on the day as to whether or not the water is mostly salt or mostly fresh and what kind of species are there. So I have no idea what we're going to catch today. We could catch largemouth bass or we might get into some big redfish and sea trout. Or we might catch absolutely nothing. We're just going to kind of play it by ear and, and figure it out. Not catching any fish. This is a really nice area for kayaking though. Canals going every which way. Just wish I knew what I was fishing for back here. Wonder if I should switch to bass lures. We might be getting into fresher water back here. We got our first fish and ugh, it's a largemouth bass. <laughs> All right. Well, I think we are in officially in fresh water back here. So um, the fact that we caught a largemouth bass is a, is a good sign. It's actually my first Alabama bass. So first Alabama bass, and um, we know what to target now. <laughs> I wasn't sure whether to be targeting saltwater or freshwater stuff back in these canals. But that tells me um, time to start focusing more on largemouth gear. These canals back here are just absolutely gorgeous for kayak fishing. It's been an awesome kayaking experience. Bad news is we aren't catching any fish. <laughs> Riled up the dog, I guess. There's a fish there too. or not. I knew you were friendly, I'd go and say hi, but you look like you might not be friendly, so we're just going to continue on our way. Sure is pretty out here. Folks, unfortunately it is now dark out, so it's time to call it quits. We went upstream into the canals, perhaps we should have went down into the, the Dog River, but you know, it was a nice day of kayaking, it was really fun back there, those canals were, were really uh, a cool kayaking experience even though the fishing wasn't very good. Who knows, maybe we just didn't hit it on the right day, definitely going to be back here just because it's so close to home. We'll try it again, maybe next time we'll try the other direction, but right now we need to call it quits. We might get out tomorrow morning and try the main part of Mobile Bay for sea trout. There's one other YouTube channel in the area and uh, they go out at sunrise and crush sea trout top water so um, I might try and mimic what they do I have no idea where they're going I know they're based on the other side of the bay from where I live but uh, you know hopefully we can make it happen we're gonna try getting out tomorrow morning and see what happens so we'll catch you then as promised it's the next morning getting out here right at sunrise I guess we missed sunrise by like uh, a few minutes but should still be prime time for the next half hour or so I'm gonna throw around the super 
the uh, the super spook. Hopefully, get on some sea trout or whatever else is biting out here. See lots of fish jumping around. Seems like mainly mullet, but earlier I did see a mullet school getting chased. So there's definitely some predators out here too. I don't know how they fish top water on the other side of the bay. On this side of the bay, I think it's safe to say this is top water bite I think might be a no-go. Yeah, see the seagulls just are relentless out here. It's not a real fish. I thought birds were more intelligent than fish, but I guess not. It doesn't even look like a fish. It's a super spook. It looks like nothing. I don't even know what the fish are supposed to think that a super spook is, but... Especially annoying when the seagulls try and eat it. And there they go again. Fish of some sort. What have we got? I don't know what you are. Hey, I think that's what we're after. I think that's a trout. It's definitely not legal size. I don't know what you are, actually. I think you might be a white trout. Whoa! I think this might be a white trout, which I think I actually could keep, but uh, I'm not positive because I don't know my fish species out here yet. But uh, I think white trout, I don't think that there's a size limit on them. Um, I'm, I'm new to this whole Alabama Bay thing, so people are probably going to say I'm stupid for throwing this back. Because um, apparently white trout are even better tasting than sea trout, but, um, or, I mean, they're a form of sea trout. They're even better than the spotted sea trout, but, uh, all right, cool. Let him go. Of some sort. Don't know what it is yet. Whoa. Flounder. Cool. Those things are good eating too, apparently. Ooh, man, they make things wet, huh? Make sure it's, yeah, just making sure it's not some kind of stingray. It is indeed a flounder. I'm not 100% sure how to hold these things. Oop. That's the thing with saltwater fish, I'm always scared to touch stuff that I don't exactly know what it is. Pretty sure you're safe to grab and handle, but I guess I'd rather be safe than sorry, so. Oh, darn it. It's fight hard, let me tell you that. There you go, Mr. Flounder. I don't know what the legal size is on those things, but I know those are actually supposed to be really good eating. I catch those things in New York City. Um, I think they're a different type of flounder. It's fluke is what you catch in, in New York City area. I don't know. Um, I don't know what that was that I just caught, but we'll look it up. <laughs> Some kind of cool flounder thing. We're calling it quits. It was a, a tough day, but you know, this is my first time ever fishing Mobile Bay, so I don't really know what I'm doing out here. And we weren't skunked. We caught some kind of trout thing and some kind of flounder thing. Hey, Mobile Bay is on the board. I learned a lot today. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe. Follow me on these adventures as I learn how to fish in Mobile, Alabama.